welcome to the second episode of elastic search today we are going to learn about elastic search queries elastic search queries is known as query dsl now what is query dsl query dsl is the abbreviation for domain specific language and it is based on json to define queries query dsl is an ast that is abstract syntax tree of queries in computer science an abstract syntax tree or just syntax tree is a tree representation of the abstract syntax structure of text this means it's a format created for everyone to understand easily which is formalized throughout the industry and it often represents the source code there are three types of dsl queries the first one is the leaf query second is the compound queries and the third is known as allow expensive queries let's learn more about leaf query some examples of leaf queries are match term or range queries i will show an example of each in this example you see the query is a match query and inside the message we have written another query this query is what we need to find in elastic search documents match query is of type boolean a boolean query uses operators such as and or and not and and narrows down the search between two words or keywords it results in a search for documents containing both the words similarly for or and not it uses the same logic or is the default operator if the operator parameter is not set let's see an example of a boolean type query with an and operator so in this query you see that we are matching a query that is this is a test and the operator that we have defined is and for example a query value of this is a test marked in red is interpreted as this and is and a and test so that means a document should contain all these words and only then the result will contain um, this document let's move ahead and check out the term query term query returns documents that match an exact term provided in the search field do not use term query for text fields by default elastic search changes the values of text fields as part of analysis this can make finding exact matches for text values very difficult use the term query to match fields such as a price product id a username etc use match query for text fields instead of using term queries now let's go ahead and check some examples of the term query in this example user dot id is known as the field it has three parameters value it's a mandatory parameter this accepts the search text boost it's an optional parameter it accepts a floating point value that defines the relevant score of a query default value is 1.0 for boost this topic is a bit complex to understand let me know in the comment section if you want to learn more about the relevant score the third parameter is case insensitive it's an optional parameter default is false if set to true it allows ascii case insensitive matching of the value the last leaf query that i am going to cover is called a range query this query returns documents that contains terms within a provided range let's see an example the following search returns documents where the age field contains a term between 10 and 20 in this example age is known as the field 
it has eight parameters and all are optional so the first parameter is gt that is greater than this is an optional parameter the second parameter is gte all in lower case and this is optional uh, what it means is greater than or equal to the third option is lt that is less than it is optional lte optional less than or equal to the next is format which is optional it's a string uh, string type date format is used to convert date values in the query by default elasticsearch uses the date format provided in the fields mapping this value overrides that mapping format the next option is relation the next one is time zone and the next one is boost again boost is an optional parameter it accepts a floating point value that defines the relevant score of a query default value is 1.0 now if you want me to explain more about relation and time zone parameters leave a comment because this is a uh, comparatively a difficult topic to cover and i would love to create a dedicated video of all these requested topics from the list in the comments now let's move to the next topic that is compound query classes so this is the second type of dsl query that we are covering compound queries are created by combining leaf queries or multiple compound queries let's talk about a compound query named boolean query previously i gave an example of the boolean query in conjunction with the match query so this is a different boolean query that we are talking about boolean query is a combination of one or more boolean clauses Uh, the list of bool clauses are as follows the first clause is known as must the must clause or query must appear in the matching documents and thus it contributes to the score the bool the bool query takes a more matches is better approach so the score for from each matching must or should clause will be added together to provide the final score for each document the second clause is known as filter filter clause or query must appear in the matching documents however unlike must the score of the query will be ignored filter clauses are executed in filter context i can create another video to explain the filter context but i need comments from you about your interest in learning this clauses used in the filter parameter are considered for caching which is an automated process provided by elastic search the next bool clause is must not this clause must not appear in the matching documents is the reverse of the previous one must not query is a type of filter context where relevant score is not calculated and the result of the query is either yes or no some quick information about filter context frequently used filters will be cached automatically by elastic search to speed up the performance the last clause in bool clauses is should this clause should appear in the matching documents as simple as that the last type of query in query dsl is allow expensive queries so certain types of queries execute slowly due to the way they are implemented and it affects the performance of the cluster the first type is queries that need to do linear scan to identify the matches let me explain this algorithm works by sequentially iterating through the whole array or list from one end until the target element is found that means it tries to scan each document to find a match and it's done sequentially too slow right 
the first type of expensive query is known as the script query so the script query filters documents based on a provided script the script query is typically used in a filter context let's see an example of the script query i will keep it limited to this example and uh, you know let you explore more about allow expensive queries or script queries if you need more information do leave a comment and i'll create a video dedicated video for it the second type is queries on numeric date boolean ip geo point or keywords that are not indexed but have doc values enabled and are not part of the inverted index so in my previous video i have explained everything related to inverted index and how it works how it makes any kind of search engine so reliable and fast so the next type of allow expensive queries is the numeric field type so the numeric field type supports numeric types and those are as follows uh, the first one is long type integer short byte double float half float scaled float unsigned long in the example on the right we have three fields named number of bytes which are of type integer time in seconds is of type float and the price is of type scaled float now as we have understood a bit about how numeric field type works next is the date field type which i will skip along with the remaining field types that is boolean ip and geo point and give it to you as your homework go ahead and research how it works and leave a comment help everyone understand if you want me to create a video out of these fields leave a comment and i will come up with another episode when i was explaining the second type of queries that is numeric date boolean ip geo point i mentioned something about the doc values that we have to enable okay so let's have a look at what doc values are doc values are on the disk data structure built at document index time which makes this data access pattern possible they store the same values as the source but in a column oriented fashion that is way more efficient for sorting and aggregations doc values are supported on all field types with the notable exception of text and annotated text now this is a quick example of annotated text the last topic that i'm going to cover is sorting and aggregations sorting aggregations and access to field values in scripts require a different data access pattern instead of looking up the term and finding the document this method looks up the document and then finds the terms an other example of expensive queries are those queries that have a high upfront cost such as fuzzy queries regex queries prefix queries wildcard queries range queries on text and keyword fields there are two more ways where allow expensive queries are available i leave it up to you leave a comment once you find that out I will cover the details of expensive queries in my next episode of Elastic Search. Now the last part of this episode is to understand how to not allow execution of expensive queries. The execution of expensive queries can be prevented by setting the value of the search dot allow expensive queries settings to false. it is true by default and can be very expensive and can be very heavy on your cluster or the elastic search installation that you have done for example if a developer writes a bad query and it goes live without review
the infrastructure cost can go up very high and elastic search cluster might become slow and it will affect the performance of the entire application we have come to the conclusion that elastic search is a highly scalable search engine when implemented and used correctly thank you for listening to episode 2 of elastic search i will introduce you to more concepts of es such as remote connection settings allocating memory for large data sets introducing more nodes to scale which also works as a fallback mechanism different types of search queries that we have done uh, in this episode and uh, so on if you like what i shared please like the video for more episodes on elastic search and other technical knowledge related to programming http servers redis rds that is uh, mysql relational databases uh, aws google cloud vps php node js some supporting technologies that will help you scale your web and mobile apps and so on the list will never end please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates from me thank you and see you in the next video